In order to work properly, your Chimera is going to need maintenance once in a while. Here we have a beaten up Chimera. It's been pretty used, but it still works fine. The first thing we need to do is hit it like this so that the ball pushes the red latch. This will allow the steel ball to move freely inside, which means we can use compressed air to blow out any debris that might be inside the Chimera. Using compressed air makes this task easy. Now we will replace the grease that wears out every time we use the Chimera. Regular shop grease is fine. No need for anything special here. If you don't have access to a syringe, you can use a small zip tie to insert the grease. Just don't use metal objects to poke inside the Chimera or you might inadvertently damage the seal. Now all we need to do is shake it vigorously so that the steel ball shakes inside and spreads the grease throughout the Chimera body. Replacing the grease often will increase the life of the Chimera. It will prevent the ball from rusting and it will close small leaks that might develop. And that's it, you have successfully done the maintenance to your Chimera. Now, all you have to do is fill it with gas and use it. But always remember, never use it before you wait for 5 minutes. Here's what happens inside the Chimera when you put gas. As the gas expands, the temperature drops very drastically. This will freeze the ball and the seal. If you use it now, the seal will be very fragile. Let's look at it in a thermal camera. The temperature rapidly drops to below 44 degrees Celsius. Besides the low temperature, at this point the gas has very low pressure. Gas has more pressure the hotter it is. So you should always wait for at least 5 minutes before you can use your Chimera or any device that uses compressed gas. Once the recommended time has elapsed, just pull the pin and throw the Chimera. You can also use a fast bang. The fast bang allows you to attach the pull pin to your vest. This way, when you pull the Chimera, it is instantly ready to throw. And you never lose the pull pin because it stays in the vest. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. As always, stay low and die last.